beautiful buddies welcome to the channel for a slightly different type of video we are doing a video on uh, roughly about 10 different challenges that you guys could try for your channels just because if you have a streaming channel because i thought it was kind of extremely needed just but i thought hey let's do something that's really needed and different challenges because i see so many people doing just the same challenges like 100 baby Disney Legacy, Not So Berry, and I was like, there are so many out there, especially on Tumblr and the forums that people just don't know about that are really similar, that are fun. So here are some ideas and here's the video. Um, so I'm going to like, go ahead and like start off like telling you guys like the basic rules about this, but I'm not going to go through every generation because we will be here forever. All links will be linked down below um, so you guys can check it out. But yeah, so you guys can get some like new ideas for new things to play. and. I thought it might be fun because I don't do a lot of videos like this. I'm usually like a big builder. I do a lot of creative sims. So I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So let me know if you guys like this. The first um, one that we're doing here today is called Garden Legacy. It's version two. I don't know if they've updated once in seasons or not. I haven't like scrolled their Tumblr in a little bit because I did collect this list. Like I want to say like around last year and I've added a couple since then. Um, but yeah, this is called the Garden Legacy Challenge. So basically, it's kind of like Not So Berry. Money cheats are not allowed. Um, and like, you, your sim is supposed to live on the same lot for a whole 10 generations. But however, challenges are what you make it. Like you can choose what generation you want to do or not do. You could make any rule your own. So keep that in mind that if you have one you kind of like, but you don't like a rule, then just change it. There's no, there, there's no rules. It, this is your, this is your world. Have fun. <laughs> Um, so the first generation is Rose. How fitting. <laughs> um, the, the traits are ambitious of the outdoors and vegetarian. You're going to be a freelance botanist um, for your aspiration and it's red. So you live your entire childhood in the city, um, but I'm guessing you start as like a young adult and you dream of um, running a farm. And then you're gonna complete your aspiration, have two children, have one dog, have one cat, collect every base game plant, reach level 10 of the gardening career, care for at least two cow plants. And like, like I said too, like you can update this. We just had Cottage Living come out. So if you could like do real cows, you know, like do what you want. Um, and then like, for instance, the second generation is Daisy and you're gonna, you're gonna like be more into the politics career. You're probably going to be more in like the suburban life or or like city, not now. Like um, because you're gonna be more friendly. You're gonna actually you do more gardening in it. So you're gonna like maybe the the whole theme of this one is to like do gardening throughout. So maybe that's just what you do. And then you're gonna have like a family orientated level and you're gonna have like two different careers and reach level five, which is interesting because I don't know about you guys, but I always try to like strive for my sims to get to the top of their career. So that's something different. Um, and then you're gonna be really into like family life basically and reach level 10 of parenting. So like, yeah, there's different ones. Like this one's joke star this one's musical genius like as you can see like you do different things in every level just like not so very okay so the second one that we're gonna look at is from the same person like wilted daffodils and this one is called the celibacy challenge um so this one you need get famous for um and basically you're gonna like get famous for like each like for different things so this one is like the ramsey level so it's like you recently dropped out of university or college where you studied cooking education and it wasn't for you. Um, but like you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna prove everyone wrong and become like this great chef. Um, so you're gonna do a master chef and then you're gonna reach level 10 cooking and gourmet cooking and at least five baking and then you're gonna reach level 10 in the cooking career. Um, and if you've reached your career, you can own and buy a restaurant and have it reach four stars. So this one's an interesting one. Um, you're gonna marry a coworker, have two children, um, and you're gonna increase your celebrity level by passively posting at social media and visiting clubs and stuff. Um, okay, so the next one is Hepburn. So like you're gonna, you, you even ask some for like a child, you're gonna be an actor basically. So you just kinda like go down the list because there's like quite a few. Some of these are like five level challenges. So like they're not all 10 level if that's like all 10 levels not your thing. And again, you can pick and choose which ones you want. 
Okay, so the third one is again from the same person, Wilted Daffodils, and it's called the Zodiac Legacy Challenge. So basically, this is like, um, th this generation is basically going to be a different um, zodiac sign in each one. So this one is kind of more about um, becoming fabulously wealthy, and you're gonna have like one enemy and marry one coworker and and have two children and reach level 10 handiness skill. You're gonna collect all of your snow globes. You can move out of San Machino. You may not move as San Machino, but you can change your apartments. Um, so like you have like interesting things, and this one's a Taurus. You could. You're all about big happy family. You want to move out of the city. You like want to get a dog. You want to be part of scouts as kids. You want to reach level 10 in parenting cooking. Like you can read these in detail, but basically I'm just like giving you the gist. Like the next one is cancer. You're gonna be friend of the world kind of thing. Gemini, Leo. Um, and so they've had a part two. So I don't know if they've made it. This was posted 2018. So I don't know if they've made more since then, but I hope so because I'm a Capricorn and well, I would love to see my <laughs> zodiac sign. But yeah, that's another one for you guys. Um, Rainbow Sins Challenge. Um, so this one is basically, again, like not so very, like a lot of them are. And they've had updates for this, so they updated it quite, I guess quite like often, I guess, if, they have, if they've had updates. So basically the basic rules is gonna be like, um, like your sims can come in like a rainbow and like whatever you and like basically the cover and you could make it as colorful as you want um you can have cats and dogs as you as you please um spouses when they move in you should like kind of not know their traits basically so they could be like extra fun from like around a random, random townie or someone you don't know you can can make your sim for you um and then every st starter challenge is a background um you can't use money cheats and you can live anywhere you want, which is nice because I really like that when challenges let you do that. And then your life sand should be set on normal. And they recommend MC Command Center too, which I feel like MC Command Center is a good mod to have, whether you are record, you stream, you don't. I just think it's a good one. And then yeah, you're gonna basically start as like a red, and that you're gonna your color is red. You're gonna be hot headed, mean, and evil. And you're gonna be basically a a criminal boss, so that's kind of interesting. So you kind of start more, I don't know, like not typical, because I feel like usually in these kinds of challenges, you kind of start out as like happy family things like this. It's kind of the opposite, which is nice. Um, so this one you're gonna be glutton. So it kind of seems like you kind of like go through, I don't know, like the seven deadly sins and like a weird kind of like way but I think it's kind of an interesting like um challenge because I don't really feel like a lot of challenges really like go ahead with that kind of route like kind of like playing up like the bad aspects of each sim instead of like the good ones you know what I'm trying to say so yeah you can go and look through this because it's it's like it's an interesting challenge to say the least um, and then the next one is actually for you occult lovers. So this one's called the Shadow Moon Challenge. So this one is primarily for vampires. So if you have that pack, this is perfect for you. If you guys want some ideas on how to use it. Because I don't know about you guys, but I don't really play with vampires a lot. So something like this would be perfect for me if I wanted to get into that kind of gameplay. Um, but basically they have like an explanation of like the bloodline is a direct descendant of your sim pure blood vampire um that has not been turned but is a descendant a coven um is a group of vampires using the get that get to not get to work i think they mean get together clubs sorry <laughs> like they split get to get to work but i think it's get together they mean um Anyway, and then ge the first generation is a founder. So basically your sim is obsessed with everything occult. But you're you were born a human in this level, so your ultimate dream is to become a vampire and like with your own coven. So you're going to have four children of your bloodline. You're going to master vampire lore and um, parenting skill and you're going to be must turn by a vampire, must start as human and co and complete the vampire family aspiration. And then this one is like the dark sheep. Um there was a lot of competition, but you really just wanted to please your parents. However, you became obsessed with the dark arts and you became power hungry. This one's going to become a master vampire. You're going to be kleptomaniac, snob, ambitious, um, and you must pr produce a male hair. So this one's kind of interesting because it like tells you sometimes like what you're supposed to have like a male hair or female hair. Um, and then you're going to master the vampire 
and then Aspiration, um, Pipe Organ and Logic, and Marry a Pure Blood Vampire. Um, anyway, and then you're going to go into a rebel, and then you're, you're going to kind of like take like a 180. You're going to want to be in like the gardening career and complete herbalism skills and consume vamp and yeah and consume plasma fruits. So like. There's like interesting level like it isn't all just about being a vampire like it's integrated like with other ones like style master career and like um, You're gonna like using the vampire cure to make to make your mother mortal and things like that It's like that so there's like interesting things to do I would suggest though if you were gonna do this career I would say maybe after like a few generations maybe consider getting like the daywalker mod maybe because I feel like that would make it easier for like things like gardening and like being in like a normal career but that's just my opinion I don't know if you guys want to make it easier for yourself or if you like the challenge it's kind of up to you but that's kind of what I would think about doing they didn't add that that's just kind of like my that's just kind of like my little two cents okay so and then this one's a Netflix legacy. This one's kind of fun, kind of cute. So basically, each generation has a different TV show. Like, this one is how, like, how you met your mother. And, like, I never watched a TV show, but, like, if you want to be Robin, you can do that. Or if you want to be Lily, you could do that. And then they also have Malcolm in the Middle. They have Young and Hungry. They have Stranger Things. They have Jane the Virgin, Girl Boss, um, Switched at Birth, um, The Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Victorious. Um, they also have some other one optional ones like Grey's Anatomy, Riverdale, Gilmore Girls. And they have like different one if you want to be Veronica or Jughead or Betty or Archie or you could do all of them if you want. Personally, I haven't seen all of these um, TV shows, but I just thought it was an interesting one because it's like based off of something different. I thought it was cute. So you can go ahead, read all those rules too. Um, and then the rest of these kind of come from Sims 4 forums. And basically that this one is, is called like the decades challenge. So you're going to have things that you can't do and then you're going to slowly add them. For instance, like this is in the 1800s. So you're going to marry only within the unicity and marry, um, only opposite gender, outside toilets, no electricity, um, I'm always must be try for baby, not not just woohooing. Um, girls may be born with only have the creativity bonus, and like you're supposed to, you know, like you, like basically you go through it, and then like the 1900s, like you can have indoor plumbing, um, electric lighting is like allowed kind of thing, and then 1910s, like it's the war years and things like that. So this is kind of an interesting one, I guess if you. If you like to do more like history challenges, um, again, like you don't have to like download custom content for them to like dress that way if you don't want to. Personally, I wouldn't. I would just play with these rules. So you can go ahead again and like look through all these. But I think it was it's interesting because I feel like it's a challenge in its own to like not have these things at first. And then the next one is for you guys who love the Disney Princess Challenge. So this one has been revised. The original one goes for Miss Playing, and this one was a kind of a popular one in like the early Sims 4 years, but this one has been updated since then. Um, so like for instance, in um, Generation 1, Snow White, like you now have to like become friends with birds and rabbits, and you're not supposed to marry your, I guess, until like your last child is born and you have to work at home from the freelance there and you can never allow strangers in the house or talk to old women so like each child must age up with at least one positive character trait and one negative trait so like it's been updated to be like a little bit more interesting i haven't read all of them yet but i'm assuming it's it's obviously done that because it's um, because it's like been updated since then so you can go ahead and read it but I thought that was interesting to add in for you guys that like like this challenge but like would like it to be a little bit more difficult basically okay so the next one is the going broke challenge which is interesting because it's basically the opposite of like a rags of riches you're gonna start off with like as much money as you can and then you're gonna want to go broke so basically um, you're gonna want to try to do it in 10 generations. They did it by points. Personally, I don't really count points. I think it's just, I don't know, I just think it's more difficult that way, but basically you want to try your sims to get fired and you don't want to, and you don't want to 
pay the bills basically you want to fail to pay the bills like you're you didn't you're gonna want to try your hardest not to succeed in the sims which is i feel like is kind of actually difficult but or like it is kind of difficult because i feel like it's quite easy to like do all those things as you want to but yeah this is a really interesting one so you can like read it in detail on like how you can um but like basically this suggests as having as many children as possible to like get there quicker because <laughs> because kids eat up a lot of money um and buy the cheapest version of any essential items like once you get start to get like more broke so yeah this is an interesting one i don't know if this is one a typical one that i would like be at the top of my list but i thought it might be fun for you guys that like kind of weird challenges and the next one is called the parenty the parency um, um, challenge. So basically, this one is all about like being a parent. So this one is like a single parent of one. This one's a workaholic parent. This one's a painter parent. This one's a commitment issues, neglect parent, insane parent, know it all parent, um, gets around parent, hopeless romantic. So basically, you kind of have like a different challenge with each generation. Um, so yeah, again, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you can read them. I'm just, this is basically to give you guys ideas. And the last one I have here is the bad to good legacy challenge. So this one's kind of like, kind of relates to like the one of like the rainbow sin challenge. Um, but I guess the only difference is, is that you start off being bad and then you end up good. Um, I don't, this person doesn't enjoy scoring challenges. I don't either. So I'm kind of glad they don't do that. Um, and it tells you which ones that they, that they have. So if you missing them you could like change the you could change um the the challenge if you don't have that pack but yeah this is basically what they recommend and then they want you to have your lifespan on long pets are required for different for different generations um your sims partner spots could be anyone you can start off with a young male adult sim from kaz so they basically want you to start off like that um, you're, you could change your aspiration at any time as long as a generation specifically gets finished. Um, you can, any reward traits are like encouraged for, for you to buy. And clubs are fine for skill building but not for earning money. Um, but yeah, you can basically tells you like general tips and like what to do. Um, but yeah, you start off with black, like you want to be chief of mischief and like you kind of like want to be kind of like a horrible person, I guess at first and like never celebrate holidays. You're going to only have only one child. You're not going to have a long-term partner. You're going to own a retail store that you only sell stolen goods, which that's, just, that's kind of actually really hilarious. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna have generation two it's gray so you basically are your father's never around and your mother resented you for it so i you eventually i guess you become like a public enemy and you kind of like i guess are more i don't know like you kind of like resent i guess what happened in the first generation so it kind of like goes on like a story um and then purple i guess is like you you were parent tried their best living with them and being much nicer than being in the orphanage so eventually your child must um go on to like live in an orphanage which is kind of sad um so you're gonna like want to move into an empty lot with 2000 so basically you start off from scratch from this generation which is a really interesting one i really like this one i think it's has like a lot of good um well how could i say it like story like line going on you know i guess know what i mean i can't think of the word right now but basically you know what i mean and then you start to get like more the typical one like you're gonna marry your high school sweetheart and having um and things like that but you're still kind of a bad person because you still have an affair affair with a maid and you never get caught so like it's you you go on you you go on slowly but surely you get more to like the end where you kind of have that happy family with your and you kind of start to make it. And this person added their added their um, 
their generation family, which is kind of cute. So I like that at the end. Uh, but yeah, those are like 11 different challenges that you guys could try. I will leave the uh, list up in the description if you guys want to look at them in detail. Let me know if you guys seen any that you like. If you guys would like me to do more of these types of videos. Um, and which ones that you guys maybe think that you want to try. Um, and if you try any of them, tag me in it. I want to see. Um, and tag the creators in it too. I'm sure they would love to see it. So yeah, I hope you guys I um, love what we're doing here. We're gonna have our regular scheduled like builds and things like that for Veronaville go up very soon um, in like the following week or so, things like that. I just wanna try something different. Um, but yeah, I love you guys all so, so, so much. Leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon, okay? Bye bye. I don't